Yeah. What up, class of 2020? As most of you already know, graduation is my favorite holiday. Caps, gowns, and tons of pomp. It's so legit. Last year's graduation was epic. To paint a painting for you, I biked all the way to the high school for this annual celebration. I almost forgot to wear my helmet. I was so amped to get a front row seat. But this year's a little different. Sadly, my bike remains in the garage, like a caged dove wanting to fly. Pause for effect. So cute team's really trying to break us down, break our spirits even. That to that, I say nah, player. This is the class of 2020. Boom. When all of us seniors arrived at school on Wednesday, March 11th, none of us knew that this day would hold our final moments together, let alone our last moments. Our class will always be remembered by others for its unique ending, but for ourselves, we'll remember it for what it truly was. I want the class of 2020 to think back on a time you felt grateful for the teachers and friends around you. Now that feeling of warmth and happiness is what we'll remember in the years to come. Let's remember our class as one that has overcome many obstacles through the years and has always adapted to find ways to make the best out of every situation. We battled our way through American studies, chemistry, and calculus. We survived the noise and shaking from construction on campus. We even learned to adapt to the challenging situations that COVID-19 has created and despite the difficulties, found innovative ways to celebrate our accomplishments from afar. I know we never anticipated facing the challenges of online school at the end of our senior year. Yet it is through these challenges that we find our best selves. It takes perseverance, courage, and flexibility to open our Chromebooks day after day despite the uncertain future. Yet I know that all of you possess these qualities and that when these challenges were put in your path, you jumped over them and kept going. This mindset of never giving up is what makes us Spartans. I feel like most of us haven't yet realized that high school isn't just about the specific details, the names, dates, and definitions we have crammed into our brains. We've also been learning how to learn, how to interact, and how to be an adult. History teachers warned us of the fallacies of the past. English classes taught us how to elocute intelligently, and AP Calculus prepared us for how to cope with utter failure. Most of us may not yet realize it, but we've already been given the tools we need to go out into the world and make the changes we want to see. We are a class of actionists and athletes, of artists and entrepreneurs. With the future in our capable hands, our actions today will shape the world we will live in tomorrow. If these last few months of staying at home have taught me anything, it's that we cannot sit back idly and watch the world happen around us. We have to engage with it, learn from it, and do our part to better it. And after having the privilege of being your classmate for the past four years, I know we will better it. Because we are the Bainbridge High School class of 2020. We are the next generation of change makers, and I cannot wait to see what our future holds. After we finish high school and leave Bainbridge to go to college, go into the military, work, or take a gap year, our generation is going to have to deal with some pretty tough issues. We're going to have to face problems like climate change, human rights violations, gun control, and other problems that unexpectedly arise, just like this pandemic. However, after seeing the way that the class of 2020 has handled these circumstances with strength, grace, and creativity, I know that we're up to the challenge. We'd like to thank you all once again for participating in such an unusual graduation and for coming together in support of our wonderful senior class. I would urge everyone listening in the community to reach out and find a way to congratulate and celebrate all the seniors you know and the class of 2020 as a whole. Now, I'd like to introduce the Bainbridge High School Choir under the leadership of Choir Director Allison Wagstaff singing the National Anthem. Oh,
here today to share with you my valedictorian speech. No, no, I'm just kidding. That honor falls on my wonderful classmates who have worked so hard to get to this point right now. But it's not just them who have worked hard day in and day out. We all have. The past four years, we have dedicated our lives to our education. Sadly, we were forced to leave what we know as school life behind too soon. Our final days of senior year should have been spent in the halls, cherishing our time with our classmates. Trying to make it to Dairy Queen and back within our 35 minute lunch period and visiting the front office for Friday candy. Instead, our final days were spent on our couches. The days that were once reserved for traditional rites of passage have been replaced with binging shows on Netflix. Homework has taken on a completely new meaning and Zoom is no longer an onomatopoeia that you learn about in ninth grade English. Much of our time was spent hopelessly staring at our Google Classroom feeds and trying to figure out how to learn about conics through Snapchat. But just because we haven't been able to walk through the halls those last few months doesn't mean that what we've done doesn't matter. Today was supposed to say that we are ready for a life in the adult world. A world that would seemingly feel more lonely without our peers by our side. We've been thrown into this isolating world too soon. Yet, instead of giving in, we have come together like no class has ever before. We've helped each other fight off our procrastination habits and fix the bugs on our Zoom calls. The lockdown has made us stronger. It has pushed our limits and it's allowed us to do things we never thought possible. We've gone four months without Nandy. And even though whipped coffee and tie-dye sweats could never measure up to Mr. Power's Friday jokes, we've made do. Through the stress, tears, and isolation, we have managed to stick together. I am so proud of us and could not be more honest when I say the class of 2020 is truly remarkable. We've gone through something that no other senior class can say they have gone through. I feel that now, especially now, high school has prepared us for the adult world. A world full of challenges. But if we can get through the challenges that face us now, I have faith that we will be able to do the same thing in the future. To overcome our adversities with pride and dignity as we have done these past few months. So when we throw our caps into the air today, I hope we do so knowing that we are prepared for anything to come. We will make lives for ourselves that the middle school versions of us could have only dreamed of. There is no doubt in my mind that all of these dreams will come true and we will make the eighth grader inside us proud. I look forward to the day when we can all stand together again and celebrate our great accomplishments with one another. Ralph Ellison once wrote, that's getting too far ahead of the story, almost to the end, although the end is in the beginning and lies far ahead. So with that in mind, class of 2020, thank you for all the memories. Congratulations on all your achievements. I am so proud of us for making it to this point. Thank you.
Do you remember where you used to play outside as a kid? I do. It was that big green slide that used to be down at Waterfront Park. I remember it as the tallest on the island, and I have great memories of playing Lava Monster or other playground games there with my friends. Eventually, one of us got hurt on it, and it got taken away. But even after that, that playground was still somewhere where I felt like I could be my best self. Maybe some of you have memories like that too, from before we began our high school journeys together. I hope so. Even if you didn't get your start here on Bainbridge Island, everyone deserves to have moments where they feel like they're their best selves. I know for me, those are the times when it's easiest for me to be kind and compassionate to others, which is something I've had less energy to do over the past four years. Don't get me wrong. We're lucky to have spent any of our high school times at Bainbridge High School. It's just that we live in a community and a society to put so much emphasis on doing things a certain way. College, grad school, and work. BHS does their best to help us reach these goals, but in the process, our energies go toward things like homework, tests, and sports. We lose sight of how we're being our best selves, and it can be hard to feel supported in having our own thoughts and ideas about how we live our lives. That plan that seems so important, that everyone talks so much about, really only revolves around one thing, our success. And while that might be good, sometimes it's necessary for us to take a step away from our privileges and our aspirations if we want to learn how to be our best selves and how to help others do the same. This is a learning process that is extremely difficult, but I promise you it's well worth it. Despite the uncertainty of, these current situa of the current situation, we have been gifted with tools and experiences that need to be put to good use. That means learning to love ourselves and learning to love other people so we can all achieve the same thing together. One of the things that gives me hope these days is my belief that we will all rise to that occasion. That learning process is something that rests on each and every one of us and our success will never be measured by test scores or degrees. We are part of a resilient, incredible student body and we owe it to ourselves and the rest of the world not to let the knowledge, support, or gifts that we have go to waste. When I'm out there in the real world, after this is all over, I want us to step up 2020. I want us to be the changes that the world so desperately needs. I want to recognize my fellow classmates by your respect, your empathy, your kindness, all of which will hopefully only grow over time. We will take care of ourselves, we will be our best selves, and we will help others to do the same. Why? Because there is more than just suffering and disappointment that unites us in these final moments of high school. Each and every one of us will take with us the memories, good and bad, that we have made in these halls over the past four years. Together, we are strong, we are courageous, and we are ready for whatever comes our way. This is the class that I will remember. This is Bainbridge High School's class of 2020. Thank you. The years they go by, memories they fly, high and into the sky. And never thought I'd want to stay. Now that it's ending this way, I wish we could have one more day. We're moving on and getting older, watching the years as they smolder, like campfires at Richard Park. On this very life we're soon doing more Soon doing more It's time 
time to move on You know it won't be long Till we see each other again And it is only one year We can wait as that nears For now let's just say cheers We're moving on friends, and community members that have joined us to celebrate the seniors today. Thank you for the love, support, and encouragement that you have given these students from the first day of kindergarten to this moment. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Traditionally, each year during the commencement ceremony, the Bainbridge High School principal has the honor of recognizing the scholarship awards and academic accomplishments of our graduating seniors. To publicly list these academic accomplishments is impressive and encouraging that, yes, we are doing something right here on Bainbridge Island. But to be honest, it is hard to quantify the measure of these seniors beyond the awards of merit and academics that are listed in your program today. And so please know that I'm only sharing one small facet of who these seniors are. I can't begin to count the number of times that I've seen these students offer a friendly smile a helping hand, or a word of encouragement to a classmate. Take an academic risk, explore challenging and complex ideas, and stretch their thinking. Act with compassion and empathy, and seek to make a difference in the local community and beyond. Or say thank you to a teacher at the end of a lesson. In this graduating class, there are 151 members of the National Honor Society. These are students that have maintained a 3.5 cumulative GPA and have demonstrated performance in leadership, service, and character. In this graduating class, 40% of the students have earned the Washington State Honors Award, recognizing these students as the top 10% of seniors statewide based on GPA and performance on the SAT or ACT. In this graduating class, there are 17 students that have earned the Washington State Principal Scholar Award, given to the top 5% of students in the graduating class at each high school in Washington State. In this graduating class, there are 29 students that have earned the Washington State Seal of Biliteracy. In this graduating class, there are 19 students that have been recognized as National Merit Commended Students for their performance on the PSAT in the 11th grade year in the top 3% of test takers nationwide. In this graduating class, there are four National Merit Scholar finalists with performance on the PSAT that places them in the top one half of 1% 1 
of all test takers nationwide. In this graduating class, there are students that have earned an Associate of Arts degree through Running Start while also working towards a high school diploma. It is important for us to celebrate these accomplishments today and to also recognize the individual pathways that the graduates have decided to pursue after high school. In this graduating class, there are students that set off to pursue four-year degrees in universities across the United States. In this graduating class, there are students that have made plans to pursue associates or technical degrees. In this graduating class, there are students who will be following a passion, moving into the workforce, or taking a gap year committed to volunteer work. In this graduating class, there are students who have made an honorable commitment to our country and will be enlisting in the armed services, attending college on an ROTC scholarship, and entering into United States service academies. We would like to extend a special note of gratitude to the students that have made this decision to serve our country. As I formally present the class of 2020 for graduation today, I want to offer the senior class my sincere appreciation for what they have contributed to the Bainbridge High School community through academics, athletics, activism, and involvement. Thank you for being inspirational and inclusive, engaged and energetic, and so uniquely you. Seniors, take a moment to remember back to that first day of school this fall, when you were packed into the gym bleachers, shoulder to shoulder, cheering and chanting and hand jiving with the cheerleaders. On that day, I encouraged you to embrace the now and take advantage of the opportunities that were provided to you at Bainbridge High School. And you did. You made the most of every day. You connected with your teachers. You enjoyed your time with friends. You contributed to your community. I also encouraged you to plan ahead, but not worry too much about having the future all figured out. And I really believe that this still rings true today, despite our current circumstances. To exemplify this, I would like to share with you a quote from Barbara DeAngelis. The moment in between what you once were and who you now are becoming is where the dance of life really takes place. As the class of 2020, you are in a unique position of transition while the world seems to be on pause. But I encourage you to embrace that space, dig in, and fully experience the dance of life. To formally accept the graduating class of 2020, it is my honor to introduce Bainbridge Island School District Superintendent, Dr. Peter Van Knutsen. Families, friends, and community members that have joined us to celebrate the seniors today, thank you for the love, support, and encouragement that you have given these students from the first day of kindergarten to this moment. Congratulations, class of 2020. In my 27 years of education, this is my first virtual ceremony. So I would like to say welcome to all the seniors, families, and guests who are watching this ceremony from the comfort of your homes. First, to the parents, guardians, grandparents, and extended families, congratulations. Thank you for all the love, support, encouragement, and patience you've provided to your students. You played a critical role in the development success of each and every student in the class of 2020. Second, to all the teachers, counselors, nurses, paraeducators, office staff, bus drivers, custodians, administrators, and other staff, thank you for all you have done to care for, educate, and support our amazing students it was truly a team effort. And most importantly, to you, the graduates, amazing work. You have earned this achievement. Seniors, you are prepared to enter a new phase of your lives. You are now officially young adults. I remember my high school graduation 34 years ago and having a mixture of excitement and anxiety about my transition to adulthood. I can only imagine that those mixed emotions of excitement and anxiety are even more heightened for you in this time of COVID. On the one hand, you probably can't wait for the stay-at-home order to be lifted so that you can get just a little bit more social distancing from your parents. But on the other hand, you're probably worried about what the, our world will look like once we're allowed to leave our homes. Seniors, don't worry. You're well prepared for this transition. 
But I do want to offer you advice as you embark on this important journey. (laughs) Believe it or not, I've been watching just a little bit more Netflix in the past three months than I normally do. I've rewatched all my favorite episodes of The Office, Parks and Rec, The Great British Baking Show, but I've also watched some documentaries like Michelle Obama's Becoming. In this documentary, there's a great scene where Mrs. Obama is talking to a group of high school seniors, and one of the students asks her how she will get her life back on track after leaving the White House. Mrs. Obama responds forcefully that there is no back on track. Rather, we must look forward and create our new track. We must reflect on what matters most and lean into our lives to make a difference. Although Mrs. Obama gave that advice almost four years ago, I think it is so relevant right now. Seniors, I believe this moment in time at the very moment you are becoming adults, will be seen in the future as BC and AC, before COVID and after COVID. Our lives, our jobs, our schools, and our communities will be different when we emerge from this COVID crisis than when we entered it. As young adults, you will play a vital role in envisioning and creating the new track for our local national, and global communities. Seniors, I am so confident in your abilities to engage in the important work of developing our new track. I've seen how you act with care, compassion, and creativity when you address challenges in your lives. For example, I've seen how you care for yourselves and care for your friends when times have been really tough. I'm inspired by the compassion of people like Spencer, Spencer Bisfam, who created a BHS class of 2020 GoFundMe page to support Bainbridge Youth Services. <laughs> I laughed really hard the morning I drove by the high school and saw the most creative senior prank in my career, where a small group of seniors, you know who you are, displayed a very large for sale sign in front of the high school with important information included, like vacant since March 13th. 16 bathrooms, and includes a full-size gym. (laughs) Seniors, I believe in you. You've got this. Do these three simple things. Take care of yourselves, lead with compassion, and pursue your creativity. Living these values will empower you to lead us all into the new track, the after-COVID world, that we all need and that we all deserve. Thank you, and once again, congratulations. Franco Abu Yurade. Quincy Adams. Bjorn Addington. Violet Advani. Paige Eichley. Colton Albee. Stephen Albergine. Ruben Allen. Charlotte Annick. Daisy Amelay. Joe. 
Jersey Angel. Finnegan Arthur. Connor Babcock O'Neill. William Barcott. Harrison Barnes. Christian Barrett. Madeline Barsati. Tessa Bastiani. Samantha Bedell. Jackson Berman. Silas Benjamin. Jack Bennett. Cassie Benz. Holly Bice. Lucas Biggs. Spencer Bispham. Isaiah Bjorgan. Carson Black. Kiera Blackford. Jack Bloom. Trout Boback. Allison Bowden. Jillian Borovic. Megan Bulwer. Paige Bauma. Chelsea Bermatnoff. Nazia Bradshaw. Oscar Ray. Alexandra Brent. Milena Broom.
Isabella Brown. Emma Brundage. Mark Bruyar. Jack Buck. Mackenzie Bucard. Matthew Burnett. Sajel Bush. Sophia Byron. Kira Callahan. Fidel Campante. Christopher Campbell. Lindsay Campbell. Caleb Carlisle. Greta Karsten. Riley Common. Claudia Chan. Claire Cheng. Claire Sabula. Belle Clemenson. Libby Clements Hall. Benjamin Cohen. Sophie Coleman. John Colley. Eleanor Collins. Peter Connolly. Shailen Converse. Zachary Cooper. Lucas Cornwell. August Corsetti.
Kayla Cortez. Megan Costello. Kira Copeland. Jackson Cross. Madison Culp. Brock Cunningham. Miriam Seiger. Christopher Daniels. Keegan Daniels. Zachary Dash. Sophia DeBellis. Thomas DeFar. Pedro Delfino. Shay Delfinade. Corey Durzan Suple. John Devlin. Otis Deweese. Maximilian Doan. Kendall Donnelly. Maya Dorsey. Jackson Doyle. Alex Dubois. Brent Dungeon. Maddie Dunham. Connor Durantz. Jack Dutt. Thomas Eckert. Isabel Eigen. Jane Ekstrand.
Moria Elden Everts. Joshua Ellis. Kendall Emerson. Ava Marie Entress. Maxwell Irich. Catherine Feeney. Nicholas Philip. Anya Flanagan. Catherine Fleming. Hugh Fordyce. William Anders Forsland. Jonah Frago. Declan Freeman Gleason. Mark Freeman Sheehy. Dawson Friars. Brendan Fuller. Jean Gary. Jonah Giblin. Beck Gibson. Natalie Gillette. Ulysses Glansrock. Micah Glasby. Ella Goodman. Alexander Goon. Ian Gray. Corrine Grayson. Ella Green. Alan Griffiths. Helen Gu. Emma Guthrie.
Eden Hagen. Vanya Hagman. Faith Halko. Peter Hall. Natalie Hamill. Madeline Harris. Grace Hartley. Annalise Howman. Kendall Havel. Ava Heisinger. Josephine Hill. Rachel Hinton. Anna Hip Kaplan. John Hoyer. Nicole Holmes. Charlie Hughes. Harper Holtz. Joshua Hummel. Caitlin Hung. Kellen Hungerford. Parker Hutchison. Ruby Aria. Clay Jablonski. Julia Jakubic. Delaney James. Catherine Jarecki. Jacob Jansen Lopez. Anna Jernigan. Alexa Johnston. Hunter Johnston. Ingrid.
Ingrid Johnson. Henry Joss. Lizona Kabish. Marley Kessler. Andrew Kenny. Julia Keys. Devin Kim. Eleanor King. Nicolina Klinkenberg. Dylan Cobbs. Zaya Koriko. Kiara Kassen. Liam Kratzer. Thomas Kratzer. Bjorn Cross. Michaela Kraus. Crichton Cresser. Maka Kurihara. Jonathan Cussey. Sean Lafer. Emma Lottinen. Paige Lackich. Nat Lang. Nathan LaPlaca. Brian Lasoff. Ryan Lucatus. Chloe Levine. Riley Lawrence. Alexander Ledbetter. Elizabeth Leung.
Joshua Lewis Sandy. Kiernan Lieberman. Rachel Lieberman. Veronica Lieberman. Aver Libis. Skaya Little. Colin Lindquist. Rose Linford Combs. Owen Livengood. Nicholas Lochgren. Jay Lallman. Samuel Long. Christopher Longridge. Parker Loverich. Svetlana McGuire. Emilia Malone. Alexander Mansfield. Lauren Mansfield. Clayton Marsh. Matthew McCann. Spencer McCoskery. Adam McKinnon. Liam McMiniman. Emma Meeser. Madison Medina. Juan Mendoza Valdovinos. Christopher Menser. Abigail Mikami. David Miller Reese. Quinn Millard.
Ian Morosoff. Isaac Morosoff. Emma Morris. Desi Mortel. Oliver Mortel. Benjamin Mullenkamp. Paige Mullen. Lucas Nally. Jack Neon. Andrew Needham. Michael Nelson. Sarah Newman. Priya Niehaus. Ian O'Hartigan. Declan Atticus O'Reilly. Dennis O'Rourke. Jacob Odermatt. Augustin Oliveira. Samuel Olive. Emily Parks. Evelyn Paxtor Chaz. Oswaldo Paxtor Chaz. Joel Passoff. Patelicio Piato. Jessica Picunis. Andrew Peterson. Garrett Peterson. Meadow Ferris. Carice Pippinger. Jesse Pomerantz. Oh. 
Colin Pope. Edward Powers. Anna Prodzinski. Genwa Ramadan. Angel Ramirez Alarcon. Nelger Ramirez Alarcon. Abigail Rebusman. Jack Riley. Sean Riley. Stephen Reinhardt. Elizabeth Rents. Anthony Ravellis. Kaya Rich. Ethan Renninger. Eli Ritter. Xaveria Rodriguez. Leona Rauman. Mariko Ronan. Jacob Rosenberg. Andres Rivalo. Emma Russell. Duncan Rutherford. Espen Rude. Nephi Ryerson. Calvin Schmidt. Anya Schuler, Thomas Schuler, Dustin Scott. Elijah Sellers. Liam Schatzel.
Madeline Sherry. Samantha Sherwood. Grant Shinohara. Caitlin Slattery. Kristen Smith. Nina Smith. Matthias Solberg. Emily Solly Tanner. Allison Spence. McKendry Springer. Nicolo Stallone. Alex Stouffer. Natalia Stearns Clemens. Kelia Stevens. Joseph Stowell. Tanya Strager. Nell Straub. Peter Strufert. Cruz Strom. Abigail Sullivan. Madeline Sweetlick. Delaney Taylor. Peyton Turan. Isabel Thompson. Paige Tomer. Sophia Trail. Catherine Trevino Yosan. Daily Trust. Freeman Tui.
Samantha Turpin. Nicole Tai. Andrew Utter. Kai Yuikawa. Luis Antonio Valles Crespo. Henry Vandersloos. Miles Vilk. Lock Vo. Martin Vroom. Christopher Wagner. Anne Walsh. Carmelo Warren. Indigo Weepo. Elliot Weaver. Jillian Webb. Jacob Weber. Elizabeth Weber. Bridget Weibel. William Welch. Jude Wenker. Elliot Wayand. Marshall Whittlesey. Thomas Wieland. Thomas Wigan. Olivia Wickstrom. Nikki Wilkinson. Cameron Williams. Jacob Williams. Jack Williams. Eleanor Wilson.
May Wilson. Brecken Wingfield. Kyle Wisner. Andrew Witte. Leah Wolf. Nicholas Wolgamot. Georgia Wood. Eleanor Wolliver. Conan Wilson, Evan Wren, Zeely Wynn Jones. Although today marks our last official day as a class, I'm confident that the relationships that have begun here don't end now. Over the course of our time at Bainbridge High School, I have watched countless friendships begin and flourish. Class of 2020, just because we can't be here together, doesn't mean we aren't together in spirit. I am confident when I say that each and every one of you is going to go on and do great things and change the world, but don't forget the little island that you came from. As poet Ruby Kaur said, remember the body of your community, breathe in the people who sewed you whole. It is you who became yourself and those before you who are part of your fabric, honor the roots. Over these past 18 years, we have truly grown together as a class and as a community of fierce advocates, vibrant creators, and whip smart change makers with a go-getem attitude. Yet, we would be nothing without those who stood by for our first steps, our first school bus rides, and, perhaps most dauntingly, our first tutorials. I want to thank all our teachers, coaches, and mentors for helping us get to where we are now. We appreciate you and all the things you've done to guide us. I know all miss waiting to Drucker in the halls and seeing Nurse Heidi every day. It's the little things I've grown to appreciate the most. As this chapter of our lives ends and another one opens, I hope that we continue to find the good in everything, no matter how small. The future holds great things for the class of 2020, and I'm so excited to see where it takes us. The other day, a friend said to me, even though it sucks to be a senior this year, at least the class of 2020 will always be remembered. And I had to agree. We may not have gotten a typical graduation or prom or any of the other traditions we've looked forward to since freshman year. But the class of 2017 got all of that, and what do we remember about them? No offense to the class of 2017, but not a whole lot. So much has happened over the past six months that this year will be extremely hard to forget, even if you may want to. When we look back, on our senior year in 10 or 20 years, we'll remember the strength, the courage, and the compassion that we held as we navigated through this once in a lifetime experience. The future is uncertain. Many of us have no idea what next year will hold, whether we'll be living at home, on a college campus, or in a foreign country. And although this uncertainty can be scary, it isn't a reason to lose hope. We're graduating into a world that needs us to step up and be thinkers and leaders, and I'm confident that our lives have prepared us for the job. We must learn to embrace both the joys and challenges to come with open minds, because although the road ahead is unfamiliar, we have the power to make it great. Right now, the best thing we can do is continue to move forward, paving a path towards our hopes, aspirations, and dreams. In these challenging times, as has always been true, we get to choose how we live our lives. 
I choose to believe our future is bright, full of opportunities, and the exciting journey of our lives has just begun. While the world might look different compared to four months ago, if we choose optimism, hope, happiness, and love, the world will most definitely be a brighter place. The other day, I was sitting in my unmoving car, just admiring the sun shining through the windshield. In that moment, it dawned on me how miter my greatest routine challenges are in the grand scheme of what's going on in the world. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Perspective is so important, now even more than usual. With this perspective, I hope we're able to overcome the unique challenges faced by our graduating class of 2020 and have a greater appreciation of the opportunities we've all been given. I'd like to thank my fellow classmates for making my time on this island better than anything I could have hoped for. As we depart from high school and move on to the next chapter, there's one last thing for us to do. At the end of each high school graduation, students move the tassels on their caps from right to left. On the right, we are eager students, heavily guided by teachers and mentors. But on the left, we are given the opportunity to blaze our own trails. This shift is equally exciting as it is daunting, but I know all of you will go on to do great things. Now, Please join me in moving your tassels from right to left and becoming alumni. I'm proud to be a graduate of the Bainbridge High School Class of 2020, and I think that we are exactly where we're supposed to be. Maybe we were quarantined for a reason. We are a strong class, and we were given the opportunity to make positive changes in our communities once the world opens back up again. Let's not be remembered by a missed graduation, but by how we seize the opportunity to make a difference. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Congratulations, Bainbridge High School, Class of 2020. Please join me in throwing our caps. <laughs> 